right, I've had a request on this bike. So it was a request, a follow-up for the fuel tank sealer that I used on it. So I used the product, was a Tank Rocks fuel sealer kit, um, fuel tank sealer kit. So I sealed the tank with it. Um, not really got anything left apart from this. So if you're looking for the stuff, you will you should see this. So this is obviously um, a tank flush as part of the kit. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got left from it. Everything else has been used. We'll have a look in the tank. Quick look in the tank. Um, what can we see? We'll try that again with a light. So what can we see in there? There you go. You can just say see it so it's red. It's like a resin and it sealed this tank absolutely mint. It's still spot on. See if I can get closer there. It might be better if you watch this on your TV. If you've got a big screen TV, you'll better see this better. So I cleaned this tank out and I sealed it. There you go. Sealed it all with this tank rock sealer and it's been absolutely spot on. Not had any problems with it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, follow up. That's all I can say really. It's been a good kit. Um, so this is the classic superbike build I did. Um, we raced it three times at Oliver's Mount. Last time was in the Gold Cup. I think we got fifth and we went out on the wrong tyres. Uh, I think we maybe would have got a couple of places up as I've mentioned in another video. Anyway, while we're on, we'll have a look at the chain. So I did a video the other day on the chain, cleaning the chain using a product. And uh, someone said it was the worst chain cleaning video they'd ever seen in the whole entire life. Um, so yeah, looks okay to me. I think it's um, nice and clean, no damage whatsoever on those rubbers. Absolutely fine. So I think what their issue was, was me using this wire brush. I mean, yeah, a um, bit coarse maybe, but I didn't really hammer it. If I'd hammered it, they'd, all these bristles would all be bent. I just sort of lightly went over it. And there was a bit of sort of rust in here that I wanted to take off. So it's only lightly took off. Um, they didn't really get in there. Definitely didn't do any damage. I did actually think maybe I should use something a bit more fine as I was using that. I had a bit of a, a dim moment, really, so I can understand the viewer thinking, you know, what you're using that for. Um, but, you know, didn't do any damage. I swapped over onto this one, as I say. Ideally, you probably want to be using one of these ones a lot softer. I'm feeling that. Um, it'd probably have to be brand new because I don't think that would do a great deal. Um Maybe he's go on to like just a fine, yeah, probably this one here, a fine steel one. That would be absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, just wanted to mention that as well. And in case you're wondering, that was a product I used to clean that chain. This is absolutely mint, um, cleaning up chains, metal, everything. It's a right good um, engine cleaner, degreaser. It's really good. Um, I couldn't believe it when I first got this sent out from... Um, my um, parts supplier, it's great stuff. Anyway, check that video out that I did the other day. It might be worth a watch.